Two people have been arrested for firing at actor Salman Khan's residence. Mumbai police says that the shooters arrested from Gujarat's Bhuj. More cops have been added to Salman's security. Several people have been injured in Sydney's stabbing incident. Uh, a bishop among the several people that have been stabbed in this attack. The police says Sydney knife attack is a terrorist act and that a 15-year-old boy has been arrested. The historic Trump hush money trial begins. The court adjourned after first day of Trump's trial. No jurors have been selected on day one. Donald Trump, remember, is an accused of falsifying records. Hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV 24-7. I'm Osama Shab. Our top story, the Indian rupee has fallen to its lowest level uh, and uh, on record against the US dollar on Tuesday at 83.51 per dollar. The Sensex also slid over 400 points and Nifty fell over 100 points. Remember, in March this year, in an intraday trade, the rupee touched a record low against the American currency. And Vishwanath uh, joins us to give us more details. Uh, Vishwanath, the Indian rupee has uh, fallen to its lowest level on record. Uh, is it because of the tension in the Middle East? Uh, right. So there is uh, there is an element of the uh, tensions that have been rising in the Middle East uh, with the recent uh, attack by Iran over Israel. Uh, having said that, there are some other factors that are also playing in. You are seeing some activity. Uh, with uh, with the Chinese uh, yuan currency, where the uh, where the PBOC has uh, weakened the currency further, which has led to a lot of uh, Southeast Asian currencies seeing some amount of weakness. Uh, alongside that, of course, uh, because of the recent U.S. CPI inflation print uh, being higher than expected, uh, there has been a lot of uh, 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 movement of uh, foreign capital away uh, from emerging market economies back to the U.S., which has uh, further weakened uh, the position of the rupee against the dollar. Uh, what what, uh, what people are expecting is the RSP to step in at some point in time uh, to try and curb any excess volatility in the rupee. Uh, but of course, that movement will take place at some point later in the day. All right, Vishwanath, thank you very much for getting us all the latest. The Supreme Court has scheduled a hearing for April 16 to consider a series of petitions requesting cross-verification of votes uh, cast with voter verifiable paper audit trail, uh, also called the VVPAT slips. Now, VVPAT serves as an independent vote verification system, allowing voters to confirm if their vote was recorded accurately. It generates a paper slip visible to the voter kept sealed for potential dispute resolution. Sunil Prabhu gets us the details. That's uh, absolutely right and also uh, can be verified. Uh, earlier, the system in the, uh, in the EVM system as well as the VVPAC, which was introduced, the Election Commission said there will be random checking. All that is being asked now is that it should not be random. It should be absolute. Every VVPAC should be correlated so as to, be, uh, to ensure that there is no discrepancy. Uh, as has been pointed out, right, sometimes there are more numbers polled, less numbers polled in the EVMs because of some malfunctioning. Uh, so to ensure that, you know, there is a verifiable data with the VVPAT, that both will be cross-checked and to ensure that there is 100% accuracy. So all that is the petition, uh, the plea before the uh, Supreme Court, since the Election Commission hasn't been hearing it, as you have heard from the India Bloc, they have been consistently asking for an appointment uh, with the election commission, the full member commission, to explain their point of view. Uh, but they haven't got an appointment, except they've been given FAQs to keep looking at that. And uh, they have refused to hear them out. So it's in this context uh, that the ADR, as well as others, have uh, raised this petition before the Supreme Court, which will hear this matter today. All right, to talk about this, we are joined by S.Y. Qureshi, the former chief election commissioner. Uh, sir, welcome to NDTV. My first question to you is, uh, the opposition says that the VVPAT is failing to serve its purpose because of the way it is verified. And uh, the way it is verified is very random. While uh, the election commission, it insists that their role is very robust. What is your take on this? Well, actually, all sampling is uh, done randomly. 
in fact all the you know the uh, pollsters who do all the polls and every research uh, is uh, based on not comprehensive uh, every single person uh, uh, interviewed it is always random sampling so on the basis of that five uh, machines randomly picked up uh, as per the order of the last part of the supreme court is the practice which is being followed but the fact that mm, uh, all political parties and uh, are questioning it and uh, they are uh, demanding that we go back to the ballot paper which is a very uh, retrograde uh, demand uh, but we need to improve the vv pact system and i have been writing and i've been saying that the, the improvements are possible so, uh, first of all even with five uh, machines per um, uh, assembly constituency which means between every assembly constituency will have 250 to 300 um, uh, polling booths so if we count only five of them and lakhs and lakhs of uh, slips have been compared and they have tallied yet if the people are not uh, accepting it for uh, whatever reason the public trust in their system is extremely important what worries me most is that people are losing trust political parties can still be persuaded when you know when we have a long uh, detailed discussion with them we understand their point of view and uh, we tell them what we do but public is fast losing trust let me warn you because i keep on the social media uh, the, i keep getting the, uh, this kind of feedback in such a situation we need to take desperate uh, measures and one thing which i have suggested that even if for a change for once the entire country we the, the um, count 100% slips it will take uh, half an extra day maybe one extra day so what at least people's trust uh, in the system will be uh, restored and the demand for going back to the ballot paper which is surely not desirable um, at least that will uh, go and people trust will be restored although there are two three other variations which i also have been suggesting if you will allow me time i'll yes, explain those to you yes please go ahead sir yeah you know one is that we count 100% that is the bottom line and uh, it, it may take a few extra hours uh, the, the earlier uh, comment of the election commission 5 years ago that it takes 5 6 days is rubbish total rubbish why because you know we have uh, done uh, elections i've done all my life all my uh, service colleagues have done it and we were returning officers they used to be ballot papers of newspaper size and even with those newspaper size uh, ballot paper where we had to see uh, the uh, the name kureshi when uh, uh, amitabh and there and uh, it used to take 2 3 minutes for uh, us to determine where, who has voted for whom and that is when we would put the thing in that uh, appropriate tray now even then the results were out in 12 hours 16 hours maximum 20 hours now to say that this little slip which is just about 3 inches with only one name it will take 5 6 days who the which silly man made that uh, claim he needs to come back forward and explain to us how why will it take 5 6 days is that a few extra hours job and All remember right. the whole nation waits for free and fair election in the name of free and fair election in the interest of free and fair election they wait for 2 to 3 months from right. the first day to the last day so that they get the fair results so one more day where heavens will not fall and at least people's trust will be restored so that is one my alternative solution is a little more nuanced half the country in fact most of the country is fond of cricket they've all uh, heard of this drs system decision review system where both the teams are allowed to appeal now if you randomly pick up five machines they may be innocent machine and they may be suspect machine mm. ideally we should ask the opposition party the, the candidates the every candidate who has got more than 6% mm. vote and has not lost his deposit they can put their finger on one machine or two machine okay, look i am suspicious of these two please count them count the suspicious machine right and their uh, faith will be restored so that is a great cricket analogy that you have given us uh, i also want to ask you uh, the supreme court is hearing this case uh, but the question is uh, is there a compulsion for the election commission to count these votes or should it be left to the election commission considering that it is an independent body well it is an independent body it, it should have uh, uh, satisfied the nation 
but the considering that the level of satisfaction of the nation vis-a-vis -vis the commission is currently low therefore they should be responsive to uh, the public demand and uh, obviously uh, if if they don't supreme court will give an order so ideally we should not allow things which are in our jurisdiction to be the passed on to some other jurisdiction that namely of the courts so but if we don't take decision the courts will so so be it so i hope that the supreme court uh, clinches the issue because our democracy is uh, the credibility is in sheer danger because the public trust is the, at the lowest in the evm system vv pat system and which is why the demand 23 parties have gone to the supreme court demanding 100% count so uh, although at that time i said it is unreasonable even now i think it is not really needed provided there is trust but since we have uh, there is lack of trust we have to do everything to re re recover and get back that trust and this is one uh, measure which i have suggested there is one more technical solution i would like to offer or some if you give me time yes sir please please yeah well, you know that is the, you know voter vv pad uh, has two concepts in it voter verifiability and paper audit trail now the voter uh, the verifiability currently what happens is when you go and vote and press a button uh, on the, the printer screen the candidate you have chosen will appear and stay there for 7 seconds uh, so that you are satisfied that yes this is the guy i have chosen now 7 seconds that uh, in many people say is too late and perhaps it is uh, too short because in 7 seconds you could uh, may miss uh, the shot on the screen uh because even i let me tell you when i enter the polling station having been cc uh, for a few seconds even i am nervous i am still looking around and by the time i looked at the printer and that thing it's not that i straight away head for the printer and uh, uh, see the uh, screen i may right. miss out so in the in the process therefore what i have suggested that in the next generation machine i grant that because we cannot spend so much of money to discard the current machine in the next generation machine uh, add two buttons red and green only when i press the green button uh, uh, only then the slip right. should uh, cut and go into the box which means i have um, satisfied and i have expressed my satisfaction and only then the voter slip goes into the box so it will ensure total voter verifiability and therefore satisfaction and paper audit is uh, that the trail is available there is a, a paper slip you count as many as uh, is finally decided and uh, they must match with the evm results they have been matching so far i'm not right. saying but when there is election commission has nothing to hide why they why aren't they communicating they need to communicate